Okay, we finished our spirals and we finished our ovals. I now want to put stars at the top here and at the bottom just to learn some more shape tools. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put a guideline right here around center between these two ovals here. So I'm going to go click on my guide layer. I'm going to come up here to my ruler and I'm just going to drag down to the visual center here and drop. So this is going to be the center of where I put my star. I now need to create a layer for my star. So I'm going to come over here, create a new layer. I'm going to double click on that layer and I'm going to rename it star. Now, once that is done, I'm going to make sure that layer is selected. I'm going to come over here to my shape tools and I'm going to come down to my star. So I click and hold, this menu pops up, and then you come down to star. I'm going to come over to that intersection that I created, and I'm going to drag out. Now, when you drag out, you guys will most likely be getting a star a little different shape. So I need to show you a couple tools. One, if you hit the down, and up arrow keys that will increase your points if you hold the command key and drag out that will lengthen your points and if you hold the option key it puts your points at these uh, right angles okay so what I would like is eight points I would like you to elongate the points and then what I want is you to hold the shift key. The shift key will keep it straight up and down and drop it. So right now my star has no stroke or fill color. If I come over here with my black arrow selection tool and I click off of it my star disappears. That's because I haven't assigned it a stroke color. So I want to select my star. I want to come up here. I want to give the stroke black and I want to give it a 10 point stroke then I want to give it a fill color of white so I've done that and now we can see whoa my star is behind my oval which we do not want we want it in front so I need to come over here and we'll notice on my layers palette that my star is below my oval so what I need to do is drag my star layer up above my oval and now it is on top so I have my star I have it filled with white I have a stroke of 10 points and black I now want to scale this down into the center to make another star so I want to select it with my black arrow tool I want to come over here to my scale tool I'm going to come back over and I want to scale to the center. So I'm going to click on this center point here. It then gives me a black arrow. That means if I click and drag in, it's going to scale around that first point. And if I hold the shift key, it's going to scale proportionally. And right now, if I just drop it, it's going to scale that big star to a small star. I don't want that. I want to actually copy that big star and then scale it down. So if I hold the option key, a little white arrow pops up next to my black arrow, and that tells me it's copying. So if I drop it, it actually copies that down into a smaller scaled version. And then I want to change the fill and stroke of this. So I'm going to change the fill to black. I'm going to change the stroke to Red. I'm going to hit V to go back over to my black arrow tool and then click off. So I just created a cool little star there um, and then I scaled it down and changed the stroke to make a, a cool effect there. Now, if you think your stars are not 100% centered, what you can do is select all your stars. So the way I'm going to do that is come over here and click. The little meatball that's going to select everything in that layer and then up here 
I want to horizontally align center and I want to vertically align center and that will um, align your star so just to show you if I move this star over I select both my stars and then I go move horizontally move vertically it's going to line those back up now it moved it off my center line so what I'm going to do is move this back but right now my stars don't have a center point so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my windows attributes I want my attribute window to open up and there's a little button right here that's going to give my star right here a center point so if you open up your attributes window there's a box right here now if you don't have that box and you click these arrows it'll expand it to more advanced options so you might just get these options at first if you click these arrows next to attribute you're going to expand to um, the advanced options here or shrink it shrink it so just keep clicking that until you get the advanced options and then click the center line and now what I can do I can drag both of these back so that point is on that intersection and now it is centered again well now what I want to do is I want to take this same star I'm going to drag it down but instead of just dropping it I'm going to hold the option key and I'm going to get that center point to lock in over here with this intersection I'm going to drop it and by holding the option key it copied it instead of dragging it down so that option key anytime you drag something and hold that option key it's going to copy it so I'm going to zoom in to the star down here the star is a little big so I want to do a couple things one I want to scale it down to make it smaller two I want to change the stroke to um, two and I want to also rotate it so let me change the stroke and actually I don't want to change it to two I want to change it to four so I'll change that stroke to four and I'll give it a fill color of red for right now I'm going to scale it so it is selected the object that I want to scale selected I'm going to come over to my scale tool select it I have this little plus sign that means hey select the point you want to scale around I want to scale around my center point so I click it turns to a black arrow tool that means hey click and scale in or out I want to scale in if I don't hold the shift key I could get all these weird different distortions of it so I want to hold the shift key to keep it proportional I'm going to drag it in like this and I'm going to hold the option key to copy it because watch if I don't hold the option key it scales the whole thing I don't want that so I'm going to get command Z to undo my plus sign came back so I want to scale around the center black arrow hold the shift key while I'm holding down the mouse button hold the option key and watch the little white arrow pop up next to my black arrow that means I'm copying it and drop I'm now going to change the fill and the stroke colors of that I'm going to change the stroke to white and the fill to black okay so I have my bottom star and my top star. I want to now rotate my bottom star. So I'm going to hit the V key just to come back to my black arrow so I can unselect everything. I now need these two things selected. So I'm going to come in here, select this, and then I'm going to hold the shift key and select the outer, uh, the outer star. So I want to rotate this so that my center line is right down the center of these two points and so what I need to do is I need to count how many kind of points here so if I count one two three four five six seven eight so I have eight and so I know a circle is 360 degrees if I divide that uh, eight or 360 by eight I get 45 so I know this angle uh, 45 if I divide that by 2 because I want it right down the middle that is 22 
So I have what I want to rotate selected. I'm going to come over here to my rotate tool. I want to rotate around the center. So I'm going to option click right there. It's going to bring up my rotate. I'm going to type in 22.5. I'm going to preview it. And right down the center, it is going to be split. I'm going to hit OK because I don't want to copy it. And so now I've rotated my star. My star now is a little big, so what I need to do is I have everything selected. I'm going to scale it down. So I come over here. I click on that center point because that's where I want to scale it to. I come out with my the little black arrow that it gives me, and I just scale it down. A little bit there come up to my black arrow and so now if I zoom out by hitting command minus I have a star at the top I have a star at the bottom I've learned how to use the star tool I've used the scale and the rotate tool